to the palace. I hope you enjoy the class. Find your way into a comfortable seated position. And we'll start our practice just by chanting Om together three times. So have your spine extended. Have your shoulders away from your ears. So I wanted to speak today, I was um, on the phone yesterday to a very good friend from America and he's lost his job with the circumstances there, um, his whole industry kind of collapsed so he has no industry to even go back to it seems like and, and we were just talking about this and about life and how this, this happens. And he, he gave me a very beautiful analogy as to how to handle some situations like this. And he was, he's from California where there was buffalo once upon a time that roamed the land. And he was explaining that the Indians, the chief Indians, the Cherokees or whatever their traditional name is, um, <coughs> used to observe the buffalo when a storm would come. And these storms that used to roll through the, through the area took up the whole sky. Everything got black and you could see it coming. And the buffalo, the big herd of buffalo, would just walk straight into the storm. Without hesitation, without any other thinking. Straight at the storm. And, and, the, and the Indians were always there wondering, why, why is the buffalo walking straight into the storm. And they realized that the buffalo understood that this storm was huge. It was coming towards them regardless of what they wanted to do. They didn't have the capacity to fly to the other side of the earth or, or avoid the storm in any way. So they make the decision to take the storm head on. And you can imagine a storm coming here and you're here. And if the storm's moving like this, the quickest way to get through the storm is to walk underneath the storm while it goes over you. And it really struck me as a beautiful analogy for, for accepting how to embrace a circumstance that you might not be so fond of. And rather than trying to avoid the situation for as long as possible, maybe move away from it, just go into it. Accept it because it's going to come. The situation's there and it's not changing. The storm's not going anywhere. And then if we do this, we not only do we enable ourselves to be inside the storm for the shortest period of time, but we've taken ourselves into the storm with a positive affirmation that we have accepted this reality. We're fully present with this storm and we're going to allow it to pass. We're going to endure whatever it throws at us because we're well aware as well that this storm is subject to the law of impermanence. It too will pass. And I really liked the difference between this mentality and trying to sort of come up with some creative solution to avoid the storm. Because in life, I would say circumstances are going to come that are unavoidable. And 
once you've made that understanding that this circumstance really is unavoidable for me, then we just have to accept the storm and move forward with it. So we take that with us as we move into our practice this evening. I'll get you to come onto your mats. Find your way into child's pose. And just touch the forehead to the floor. And as you touch the forehead to the floor, deeply surrender. Surrender all phenomenon, surrender all conscious thought, and just let yourself be. Now close your lips and start to breathe entirely through the nose. You breathe in. First step is becoming fully aware of the in-breath. Our practice starts with mindful breathing. So be fully aware of the in-breath. Feel the breath as it enters the body. Know you are breathing in. As you breathe out, same principle. Be fully aware of the breath leaving the body. Know you are breathing out. And as we follow this breath for long enough, eventually we make it an encounter with the present moment. So let yourself be fully present with your practice. Commit wholeheartedly to your practice. And extend the arms forward. Reach the arms as far forward as you can. Lengthen both sides of your body. Push the air into the back of the lungs and now really start to engage with the Ujjayi breath. So there's a restriction in the vocal cords and we notice the oceanic sound of the breath passing into the lungs and the breath as it leaves the body. We get back home, the here and the now, the present moment. Just lift up onto all fours, hands and knees, have the shoulders directly on top of the wrists and make circles with your body on your wrists. Just warming the wrists up. Good, go one way then the other, maybe bending the elbows slightly, taking your chest a little lower, just feeling the wrist. Good, now extend the arms fully and just press the fingertips down as firmly into the floor as you can, engage through the wrist muscles. Keeping this engagement in the hands and the fingers pressing firmly into the floor, tuck the toes under and extend the legs into downward facing dog. Breathing in. Fully aware of the in-breath. Just soften the knees slightly and lift the hips a little bit higher. Good. Open the shoulders wide. Press the palms evenly into the floor. Now extend through the legs. Inhale, float the body forward into a plank. Movement and breath are one. As you exhale, take the hips back and up. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, take it back. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. One more, inhale forward into a plank. Exhale, go back, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Stay here, inhale, exhale. Push the breath deep into the back of the lungs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale forward into a plank position. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin, keeping the elbows tucked into the body. Inhale, slide your body forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck your toes, extend back into downward facing dog. Sitting bones are back and high. Heels are reaching for the floor. Shoulders are trying to separate away from each other. Now touch the tongue to the tip of the mouth. Push the tongue in there slightly and notice the difference in the breath when the tongue is there. That's the palate, you want the tongue there at all times. Clear the, clear the palate so you can allow the energy to flow into the back of the head and you'll actually feel the breath move slightly in the back of the head. Good, stay with that now. And inhale forward, move into a plank position. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin down. Inhale, slide the body forward, Bhujangasana. Exhaling, tuck toes, push seat to heels and extend through the legs, downward facing dog. Stay here. Now we commit fully to our practice through our breathing. If our breathing is solid, we will be anchored firmly in our practice. One more, inhale forward into plank position. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward into Bhujangasana. Exhaling, tuck toes, seat to heels and extend through the legs. Good, soften the knees and walk the feet towards the hands. Stop when they're just behind. 
lengthen the legs and exhale, fold all the way in, take opposing elbows, let the spine be long. Just sway the torso from side to side with the feet firmly anchored into the floor. Switch the elbow, so you're holding the other elbow this time. Let the crown of the head drop forward. Let no tension in be in the neck. Relax the muscles in the face. And then drop the arms to the floor and let your torso hang. Separate your feet as wide as your mat. And then bend the knees, coming into a deep squat with the toes facing slightly out. Pull the chest forward, push the elbows into the knees, bring the hands into prayer. Roll the shoulders back and down. Extend the crown of the head up. Reach up with the crown of the head. Sink down into your hips. Breathing in, fully aware of the in-breath and breathing out, fully aware of the out-breath. Stay for a little longer. Keep trying to challenge the chest forward and roll the shoulders back and down. Maybe you move from side to side, allowing your hips to open. And place the palms back into the floor and extend through the legs. Tiptoe the feet back together. Extending your legs fully, roll up to standing vertebrae by vertebrae. Be strong in the legs. All four corners of each foot are pressed down. If your feet aren't together, bring them together so the big toes touch and the ankles are together. Bring the hands together into prayer. Arriving in this present moment, we awaken our vow to cut all disturbances. This is our time for practice. All together, inhaling. Om. Exhale, release the arms alongside your body. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, now pull your torso forward. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale. Exhale to deep, full breathing. Inhale. Exhale, three. Follow the breath in. Follow the breath out. Four. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees and look forward. Inhaling, step or jump. Spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in over your legs. Inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms to the sky, look to thumbs. Exhale, release to dasana. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, feel heaven and earth, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathe out one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale, soften knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump, spine is long, gaze is forward, your legs are strong. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look up at your thumbs. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Again, inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward facing dog, breathing, breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale, soften the knees and look forward. Inhaling, step or jump, spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhaling, fold in. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look to your thumbs. Exhaling, release. Now, if you have the playlist, you can press play on the first song. I'll give everybody a minute just to adjust. And then standing at the top of the mat in Tadasana. Surya Namaskar B when you're ready. 
Inhale, bend the knees, find Utkatasana, chair position. Exhaling, fold forward and extending your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left heel to the floor. Inhale, come up into warrior one. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel to the floor. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhaling, hands to floor, step back and Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Now breathe here. To have a genuine encounter with the present moment, my teacher explains it as we must understand our tendency towards craving and aversion. If we are in a state of craving or averting something, we are not accepting reality and we cannot encounter the present moment. So drop all preferences and allow yourself to encounter the present moment fully. One more breath here. On the next exhale, soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is full. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhaling, release back to Tadasana, strong legs. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up and arch back. Exhale, bend knees, swing your arms behind you, extend your legs, fold forward. Inhale, the hands to the floor, right foot steps back. Exhale, extend the left leg. Inhale, re-bend the left leg. Exhale, step back downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin forward. Inhale, forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heel, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, extend the right leg. Inhale, re-bend the right leg. Exhale, step the left foot next to the right, fold over. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, extend the legs and arch back. Exhale, bend the knees, swing your arms behind your back, fold forward. Inhale, the hands to the floor, left foot steps back into lunge. Exhale, extend the right leg. Inhale, re-bend the right leg. Exhale, step back, Adho Mukha Swanasana. Inhale, forward into a plank position. Exhaling, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, forward into Bhujangasana. Exhaling, tuck toes, seat to heels, extend through the legs. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, extend through the left leg. Inhale, re-bend the left leg. Exhale, step the right foot next to the left, fold in. Inhale, bend the knees, hook the thumbs, extend the legs, arch back. And exhale, come back to Tadasana. Be solid like a mountain. Now step your feet to hip distance apart. Take the hands to the hips and arch back. Then exhale, fold forward, soften the knees slightly and peace grip the big toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine, extend the legs. Exhale, fold in elbows wide, chest moves to the thighs. Breathe here. Now press the inside line of the legs down into the floor and try and extend your hip bones a little bit higher to the ceiling. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Clear the heart, breathe deep into the chest. Keep the crown of the head reaching towards the floor. Keep the elbows opening out to the side. Press a little bit more into the fingertips with the toes. Challenge yourself to go further forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, take your fingertips, interlace your fingers behind your back, and then exhale, fold forward and take the arms overhead. Press the feet firmly down, and then roll the shoulders away from you, good. Keep pressing the feet firmly into the floor, keep challenging the sitting bones to lift a little bit higher, and keep taking the wrist a little bit closer towards the floor. Breathing in, breathing out. One more deep breath in. One more breath out. Good. Release the hands to the floor. Have the hands to the floor in front of you. Press the palms firmly down. Bend the knees. Press the knees into the triceps. Bend the elbows into Chaturanga arms and look forward. Coming into Bakasana, lift one foot, then the other off the floor. Look forward in front of you. Good. Try and expand the chest a little bit more. Lift the hips a little bit higher. 
and exhale, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look four. Inhale, step or jump, spine is long, gaze is four. Exhale, fold yourself in. Inhale, lift the arms, look all the way up to your fingertips. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, look to your fingertips. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Movement and breath are unified. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, left heel down, inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up into warrior two. Inhale, extend through the right leg. Exhale, reach forward and down for trikonasana, gaze to the left fingertips. Squeeze your feet together now, press the ball of the right foot firmly down into the floor and make sure the left outer edge of the foot has contact with the floor. Roll the left hip on top of the right and reach the left fingertips a little bit higher up. Lengthen both sides of your body and challenge the crown of the head forward. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, turn the right foot to face the side of the mat. Inhale, hands on the hips, lengthen the spine and arch back. Exhaling, fold forward, Prasarita Padottanasana, hands on the floor between your legs. Lengthen the spine, look forward. And exhale, fold in, pressing the hands down into the floor to lengthen your spine a little bit further forward. If the crown of the head touches the floor, walk your feet a little bit closer so you can swing through your legs if you have that range of motion. Deep, full breathing. Press the hands down into the floor and try and take it a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, place the hands on the hips. Inhale, with a flat back, come all the way up. Now exhale, turn your left foot to face the side, the back of the mat. Take your arms wide as you inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, warrior two. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, reach forward and down into Trikonasana. Gaze is at the right fingertips now. Same action, press the ball of the left foot down and make sure the outside edge of the right foot has contact with the floor. Challenge both sides of your body to lengthen as you extend the crown of the head forward. Strength comes from the legs, clear the channels in the legs, breathe deep into the legs. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the left knee, warrior two. Inhale, windmill the hands to the floor, step back into a plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale. Now exhale, take the left hand to the floor on the outside edge of the left leg and extend your right arm overhead with the palm facing down. Press the left hand into the floor firmly and roll the right shoulder on top of the left. Make sure the outer edge of the back foot has contact with the floor, extending through the side body. Good, push the air deep into the base here. Open through the heart channel. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift up into warrior two. Exhale down. Inhale, extend the left leg. And exhale, turn the left foot to face the side of the room. Inhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Tuck the chin to the chest and take the arms overhead as far as you can. See if you can press the feet firmly down into the floor. Feel the inner arches left, lift. Now just tuck your chin into your chest and take your head through your legs a little more. Breathe in, there it is, breathe out. Take the arms, squeeze the wrists together. If you can have contact with the, the base of the wrist, it's good. One more deep breath. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, turn the right foot to face the front of the room. Inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, find warrior two. Inhale there. Exhale, take the right hand to the outside edge of the right foot and extend the left palm overhead, palm facing down. Press the right hand down and roll the left shoulder on top of the right. Make sure the back foot has contact with the floor and extend through the entire side of your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, 
exhale one more inhale exhale now inhale lift up warrior two exhale there inhale windmill the hands to the floor step back into plank exhale lower chaturanga dandasana inhaling upward facing dog exhaling downward facing dog breathe in breathe out inhale step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand exhale extend through the right leg inhale rebend the right leg exhale extend now inhale rebend exhale extend inhale rebend the right leg now exhale bend the elbows into chaturanga arms press the right inner thigh to the upper arm and as you inhale lift the left leg off the floor if not just stay in chaturanga arms stay with it if you can come into arm balance come up look forward challenge your chest up stay for one more deep breath then exhale take it back into chaturanga dandasana inhale into upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathe in breathe out inhale step the left foot to the outside edge of the left hand and exhale extend through your left leg inhale rebend the left leg exhale extend inhale rebend exhale extend the leg now inhale rebend the left leg exhale take the torso forward chaturanga arms left inner thigh pressed into the upper arm and inhale lift the right leg off the floor Good. Challenge yourself to stay here. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the chest a little bit more. Find balance. If you want, you can extend the left leg out to the side. One more deep breath. Then exhale, take it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Good. Soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold all the way in. Inhale, lift the arms, lift all the way up. Exhale, release to dasana. Good, pull the right knee into the chest. Take the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Pressing down through the left leg, start to extend the right leg and maybe you take the leg to full extension if you need a belt. Oh, where's the belt? If you can extend the leg, now take the right arm to the back of the room and twist through the body. Gaze out over the right shoulder if you're solid here. Deep, full breathing. Good, keep pressing the foot forward and keep trying to twist the chest and open. One more breath, and then inhale, reach the left arm, reach the right arm to the, and exhale, bend the knee, lower it down. Inhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Take the right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. Extend through the left leg, pressing the right leg down. If you're comfortable here, good. Reach the left arm to the back of the mat and twist, looking out over the left shoulder. Stay with your practice. Press the right leg down into the floor firmly. Lift the chest. One more deep breath. Inhale, take the left arm up to the sky. And exhale, lower everything down, coming back into Tadasana. Inhale, take the arms up overhead, look to thumbs. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, step your right foot between your hands. Exhale, lower your left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach the hands up, bring hands to prayer. Exhale, twist to the right, hook the elbow on the knee. If you want a little bit more, tuck the left toes under, extend the left leg. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Keep twisting deeper. Keep extending the crown of the head towards the front of the room and pressing the left heel towards the back of the room. Lengthen yourself as you twist. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, come back to center, hands frame the right foot. Exhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Inhale, press the right foot down and lift the left leg off the floor. Lengthen your spine, you're looking forward. Exhale, fold in standing splits. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, four, one more. Inhale, exhale, five. Now inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. 
Exhale, spiral the knee down to the outside edge of the foot, almost touch the floor. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, spiral the left knee to the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, go back and up, opening the hip. Exhale, spiral all the way down, taking your seat, setting up for Ardha Matsya Drasana. Inhale, reach the left fingertips high. Exhale, twist. Look out over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Now press the breath all the way down to the bottom of the base. Feel the two sitting bones in the floor. Anchor your sitting bones, lift the chest, and twist a little bit deeper on the exhales. Keep following this practice of rooting down, lifting up, and twisting deeper. It will eventually lead us somewhere. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Now inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, derotate to the left. Inhale, come back to centre and sweep the right leg to the back of the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands. Exhale, lower the right knee to the floor. Inhale, bring your hands into prayer. Exhale, twist to the left. Hook the elbow on the knee. Now tuck the right toe under and extend through the right leg. Keep pressing the right heel back as you extend the crown of the head forward. Keep twisting deeply. Exhale every moment you have a little bit of space to go deeper. Good. Stay with your practice. Press your right heel back a little more and extend the crown of the head forward. Broad through the chest. One more. Inhale, come back to centre. Take the hands to frame the foot. Exhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Inhale, lift the back leg, lengthen your spine, take the gaze forward. Exhale, fold all the way in, standing splits. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, three, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Now inhale, lengthen the spine and look forward. Exhale, spiral the right knee to the outside edge of the left foot, almost touch the floor. Inhale, go back and up, open the hip. Exhale, spiral it down, almost touch the floor. Inhale, go back and up, opening the hip. Exhale, spiral all the way down, ground your seat. Inhale, reach the right fingertips high. Exhale, twist to the left. Look out over the left shoulder. Ground down through the seat, lift the chest. And every exhale is a moment to take the twist a little bit deeper. Connect deeply with your breath, move with your breath. And keep the sitting bones firmly grounded. One breath moves in, one breath moves out. Fully absorbed in the practice, good. One more. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, derotate to the right. Inhale, come back to centre. Sweep the leg to the back of the mat. Exhale, step back downward facing dog. Find your breath as you inhale. Find your breath as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso, look up. Exhale, release. Now just step back on your mat slightly. Lift up onto your toes, squeeze your ankles together. Keeping your ankle bones squeezed and staying as high up on your toes as possible, slowly start to bend the knees all the way down to the floor, taking your seat as low as you can. Now once the seat has touched the heels, take the hands to the floor in front of the knees, twist the knees over to the left side, keeping the palms where they were. Press the outer edge of the right knee into the left upper arm. Take your gaze forward, shift your weight, lift your hips and come into Parshva Bakasana. If you're comfortable here, you can extend the right leg to the side of the room and take the left leg to the back of the room. Ekapada Kondinyasana. Breathe. Challenge both legs to be extended if you're extending. If not, stay with Parshva Bakasana. And then on the next exhale, shoot it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soften the knees and look forward. Inhale, step or jump. Spine long, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in. Roll up to standing vertebrae over vertebrae. Step back on the mat again. And come back up onto the toes. This time, see if you can challenge yourself to go even slower on your way down. Feel the lines in the legs. Squeeze the legs together. Activate the lines in the legs. Good. All the way down. 
Once they're there, place the hands to the floor and twist the knees to the right edge of the mat this time. Take the outer edge of the left leg into the right arm. Look forward, shift the weight, lift the hips as high as you can and come up into Parshvabhakasana. If you're comfortable here, left leg extends to the side of the room and then the right leg moves to the back of the room. Squeeze your elbows together and try and extend your crown of the head forward a little bit more. Stay with it for one more breath. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll all meet here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, take your right leg back and up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow, tap it there. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale and go back and up. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift the torso into a high lunge, arms alongside the ears. Exhale there. Inhale, extend through the right leg. Exhale, rebend the right leg. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhaling, extend. Exhale, rebend. One more time. Inhale, go up. Exhale, go down. Now stay there. Challenge your back leg and extend it a little bit more. Press the heel back. Lift the chest. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Stay really bent in that right leg. Sink down into it. Let it burn. If shaking starts, let there be shaking. One more. On the next inhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, bring it through. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, go back and up. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the torso. You're in a high lunge. Exhale there. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, rebend it. Inhaling, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhaling, extend. Exhale, bend. Stay there. Press the right heel back a little more. Extend through the right leg. Lift the chest. Clear the heart. Breathe deep into the back of the lungs. Bend the left knee a little bit more. Challenge yourself to go deeper in your practice. One more. Hands to the floor, step back into plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, float forward into plank. Exhale, move onto the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, lift the left arm to the sky. Vashistasana. If you're strong and solid here, lift the top leg high. Keep pressing the right hand down into the floor. Keep lifting the hips higher, tight through the waist. Neck is an extension of the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the leg higher if you can. Stay with it. One more. Inhale, take the left hand to the floor. Exhale, shift onto the outside edge of the left foot. Inhale, take the right arm to the sky. Lift the hips higher. And if you did so on the other side, lift the top leg. Keep pressing the hand firmly down into the floor. Keep lifting through the hips. Keep tightening through the waist. Beautiful. One more deep breath in. Exhale, good hand to floor, lower the knees, the chest and the chin down. Inhale, slide forward into Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck toes, push seat to heels and extend through the legs. Just stabilise yourself here, equalise the breathing. Come back to a calm, relaxed breath. Wonderful. Step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand. Drop the left knee to the floor. Good, now lower yourself down onto your forearms. And if you feel good, tuck the left toes under, extend through the left leg. Pull the elbows in towards the body and see if you can just lengthen your spine a little bit more. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, take the right arm underneath the right leg, thread the left arm around the back and find a bind in this posture. If you find the bind, roll your shoulders away from your ears, pull your chest forward, bend your right knee a little bit more and stay engaged through the left leg. Good. If you're in the bind, release the hands to the floor. Come, if you're on your forearms, come back onto your fingertips. Um, onto your hands, sorry. Press the floor away from you. 
Now stay there with the legs. Now interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders overhead. Take the forehead to the floor. Your right shoulder should be inside your right leg. Keep pressing the left heel back firmly. Squeeze the palms together and take the arms a little bit further over the head. Deep, full breathing. Wonderful. Release the hands to the floor and exhale, step back down with facing dog. Breathe in, equalize the breathing. Exhale, breathe out. One more in. One more out. Step the left foot to the outside edge of the left hand. Drop the right knee to the floor. Now lower yourself down onto your forearms. If you're solid, extend through the right leg. If you want a little bit more, thread the left arm underneath the left leg. Take the right arm around the back. If you find the bind, pull the shoulders away from the ears, extending both arms and lengthening the crown of the head forward. Wonderful. Stay with it. One more breath. Exhale. Release the hands to the floor. Now everybody up onto their hands. Keep the legs exactly as they are. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Tuck the chin to the chest and take the crown of the head towards the floor, folding all the way in. Squeeze the palms together and roll your old shoulders a little bit more open. Good. That back leg's strong and engaged. Really push the heel back. Lengthen the crown of the head forward, extending through the spine. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, hands to the floor. Exhale, step back down with the facing dog. Find your breath. Inhale forward into a plank. Exhale, come down into a low plank on the forearms. Lower the hips so that the hips, the shoulders, no, no, they keep the hips up, but you needed to lower. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so the hips are off the floor, but you want one straight line from your shoulders to your hips. Now tighten through the waist. Squeeze the tummy in. Compress the spine using the abdomen. Walk the feet towards you and come into a dolphin position. Move the chest a little bit more towards the thighs. If you want a little bit more challenge, soften one leg and take the right leg up to the sky. Hop up into an arm balance, pincha mayarasana. If not, just stay with dolphin and allow the shoulders to strengthen. Keep moving the chest towards the thighs. Keep pressing the elbows firmly into the floor. Stay engaged with your shoulders. Eventually the strength will come. And then walk the feet to the back of the mat. Lower the hips down to the floor. And inhale, lift the chest, come into a sphinx position. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Keep pulling the elbows in towards the body. Spine is long and extended. Beautiful, stay there. Chest a little bit more forward. Shoulders away from the ears. And then press the palms down into the floor, extend the legs, find a downward facing dog position. Now take your right leg up to the sky, bend the right knee and open the right hip. Roll the right hip as high as you can on top of the left. And if you feel warm enough, flip it over into a wild thing position. Keep challenging the hips to go higher and try and find more length through the body. That's it, keep pressing down to lift up. Find length, find space. And the same way we came in, inhale, take it all the way back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale, take it up. Exhale, bend the left knee, roll the left hip on top of the right. If you're feeling ready and open, flip it over. Keep pressing the palm down into the floor and keep extending through the spine. Hips lift as high as you can. Feel the breath move deep into the body, back of the lungs. And coming back the same way as you inhale, come into a three-legged dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide your body forward, Bhujangasana. Now stay in Bhujangasana. Lift your shoulders a little bit more. And now take your hands off the floor and keep your shoulders where they are. Keep the shoulders well away from the ears so the cervical spine is long. Lower ribs are touching the floor. And using the muscles in the back, just lift yourself up a little bit more. One. Now lower down, take one cheek to the floor. Extend the arms alongside the body. 
Bend the knees and catch the ankles from the outside edges. Rolling the shoulders back and down, create space through the collarbones. Inhale, kick your feet into your hands and come into Dharmarasana. Exhale, one. Good, inhale, kick harder, lift up. Exhale, two. Inhale, come up more. Exhale, three. It's a moving practice. Inhale, go up. Exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, lower down. One cheek to the floor. Move the hips from side to side. Let's do another one of these. Bend the knees. Catch the ankles from the outside edges. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, two. Kick the feet into the hands more. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, lower down one cheek to the floor. Allow yourself a moment here on the mat. Just touch the forehead to the floor. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes and extend back into downward facing dog. Inhale, float forward into plank. Exhale, drop the knees down to the floor. Now extend your arms forward in front of your body and take the chest to the floor. Yes. If you feel it's okay, maybe you make cup shape with the fingertips, lifting the fingertips a little bit higher and take the chin to the floor and lengthen everything forward. Hips are as high as they can be. Really lift the sitting bones high and really reach the fingertips forward. Press the palms down into the floor and you'll find a little bit more extension through the thoracic part of the spine. The thoracic being this upper part of the spine. Good. Slowly walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Now bring yourself to stand up on your knees. Bring the hands to the sacrum. Tuck the tailbone forward and down. Now extend the arms forward in front of you. Inhale, press the knees down. And exhale, arch back. Take the torso back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, come up. Now bring the hands onto the sacrum. Tuck the tailbone down and forward again and push the hips as far forward as you can. Now it works in this order. Press the knees down into the floor, then push the hips forward. Then lift the chest high, then arch all the way back and catch your ankles. Keep pushing the hips forward as you do this. Don't lose that contact. Don't lose contact with the knees on the floor. Hips move forward. Chest lifts, yes, extension through the body. One more deep breath in, exhale. Now core muscles engage, inhale, lift up. Exhale, take the hands to the floor and push back into a downward facing dog. Walk the feet in just slightly, 10 centimeters. Now take the left hand to the right ankle and look out underneath the right armpit, twisting the body. Yes, there it is. And bring the left arm back next to the right and take the right hand to the left ankle, twisting through the body, looking out under the left armpit this time. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring the hand back, find Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, and hold your Chaturanga, engage your core, elbows stay tucked into the body, and then lower yourself down onto your abdomen, extend the right arm forward and roll over onto your back. Bending both knees, having the heels close to the buttocks, feet a hip distance apart and parallel. Just as you inhale now, press the hips down into the floor and lift the hips. Press the heels down into the floor, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips all the way to the floor. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press and lift. Now interlace the fingers behind the back. Walk the shoulders underneath you. Roll your shoulders under. If you want to stay here, stay here. If not, pull the right knee into the chest and extend the right leg high to the sky. Point the right foot. Press the left foot into the floor more and lift the hips a little bit higher from this position. 
Move the chest towards the chin. Wonderful. Bend the right knee, press the right foot down into the floor. Inhale, bring the left knee into the chest and extend through the left leg. Point the left foot. Press the right foot down firmly and lift the hips a little bit higher. And last breath. Bend the left leg, press the left leg to the floor. Take the arms alongside the body. Lower yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the hands next to the ears with the fingers facing towards your body. Inhale, press down into the hands, lift up, forward Badanarasana. Exhale, walk the hands in if you can. Keep pressing the hands down into the floor, keep pressing the feet down into the floor and try and make your arch even. You might want to try and take the back of your knees towards your armpits, it will help you find an even arch. Chin to chest, lower down onto your back. Allow the sensations. Accept reality for what is arising right now. Bring the hands next to the ears, fingers face towards you. Inhale, press up. Exhale, walking. Press down to lift up. The more you press your hands and your feet down, the more you will find an even arch. Challenge yourself to go deeper in this posture. Open the chest, breathe deep into the back of the lungs, chin to chest, come down. Hands next to the ears, fingers face towards you. Inhale, press up. Exhale there. Good, press down, lift up. Commit to this last wheel. Really open up. Feel the body expand. Press the hands and the feet firmly down. Embody your practice. One more deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, come down. Extend the arms and extend the legs. Just allow yourself a moment here. Let go of all preferences and just see what is arising for you. Pull both knees into the chest. Extend both legs to the sky and as you do so, wrap your right leg around your left leg. Double wrap and include the calf muscle. Take the arms wide and exhale. Let the knees fall over to the left side of the mat. Gaze can be out over the right shoulder if it feels okay on your spine. Come back to centre. Swap now, wrapping the left leg around the right leg, double wrap and include the calf muscle. Move the hips slightly to the left edge of the mat and on the next exhale, let the knees fall over to the right side. Your gaze can go out over your left shoulder if it feels okay. Deep surrender. That's what I feel like the buffalo were doing. They were deeply surrendering to the situation, accepting it for what it was and then handling the situation as best they could. Bring the knees back into the chest, unwrap the legs. Hug the knees into the chest. Start to rock and roll up and down the spine, massaging the muscles in the back. Once you've massaged the muscles in the back, spin around and extend the legs forward. You want your legs fully extended, your ankle bones touching. Flex the feet and engage the quadriceps. Remove the flesh from underneath the sitting bones, preparing to fold forward. Ground down through your seat as you inhale, feel the chest rise, lift up, exhale, fold forward. Peace grip the big toes, take the outside edges of the feet or interlace your fingers beyond your feet if you can fold forward that much. Wherever you are, loop the shoulders back and down and move the chest forward. And just use the breath here. Every inhale, you create a little bit of space. Every exhale, you move into that space. It's a constant progression towards completing the asana, which I don't think the asana is ever fully complete. During the standing sequence, we send the breath into the legs and we purify the channels in the legs. Our store consciousness resides in the base. 
And as we purify the channels of the stall consciousness, it allows us to expand and work deeper up into the higher channels of the energy system in the body. Keep folding forward. Keep pressing the backs of the legs down into the floor. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Now, inhale, come up. Separate the feet hip distance apart. Bring the hands next to the sitting bones and inhale, lift up into a tabletop. This is the counter pose. If you're good here, extend both legs and press the soles of the feet down into the floor fully. Opening the chest, expanding through the ribs. Push the breath deep into the back of the lungs. Hands and feet press down into the floor and the hips lift even higher. One more deep breath in and lower your seat down. Pull the right knee into the chest and open the right knee out to the side, setting up for Janu Shivshasana. Press the right foot into the left thigh. Roll the right knee down into the floor. Square the hips, lengthen the spine, fill up. Exhale, fold in, chin and chest, track over the left leg. If you're lucky enough, the left hand will catch the right wrist. You'll loop the shoulders back and down. You'll pull the chest forward. And then press the right foot into the left thigh bone while we're here and roll the right hip open more. It's more of a right hip opener than anything else. One more breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, come all the way up. Pull the right knee into the chest and take the right hand to the right ankle. Sweep your right foot back and around so it's on the outside. Triangle Mukha leg, yes. So now, your right foot's on the outside edges. Try and bring your knees together. Try and ground your right sitting bone down into the floor. Activate your left leg, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, chin and chest over the left leg. Janu Shushasana opens the hip externally. Triangle Mukha rotates the hip internally. So we're working through the hip joint trying to create an even range of movement throughout all motions of the hip. Inhale, come all the way up. Now take your right knee and take it out to the side so you have 90 degrees between your legs. Bring your hands into prayer and bring your right elbow into the right knee. Press the right elbow into the right knee and look out over the left shoulder. Oh, sorry, back to front. <laughs> bring the left elbow to the left knee. Press the left elbow into the left knee. Look out over your right shoulder. There it is. If you're good here, reach the arm up to the sky and it, take the right arm overhead and touch the outside edge of the left foot. Keep rolling the chest open. Keep pressing both sitting bones down into the floor. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Inhale, come all the way. Exhale, bring the right foot back next to the left. Inhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Open the left knee out to the side. Press the left foot into the right thigh bone. Square the hips, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Right hand this time catches the left wrist. Loop the shoulders back and down and fold yourself a little bit deeper in. Inhale, come all the way up. Pull the left knee into the chest. Sweep the left foot to the outside edge of the left hip bone. Bring the knees together if you can. Roll the left hip down so the left sitting bone makes contact with the floor. Lengthen the spine, fill up. Exhale, fold in. Push the breath deep into the legs here. Inhale, come all the way up. Now take the left knee out to the side so you have 90 degrees between your legs. Keep your left foot pointed. 
Bring the hands into prayer and hook the right elbow into the right knee. Press the right elbow into the right knee. Roll the chest open. Look out over the left shoulder. If you're comfortable, stay there. If you want a little bit more, reach the left fingertips high. Keeping the right elbow pressing into the knee. Take the left arm overhead. Touch the outside edge of the foot. Rolling the chest open. Parigrasana. Try and keep both sitting bones grounded. Extending through the side body, feeling the hamstring open. Good. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now inhale, come all the way up. Bring the leg back to the front of the mat. Now cross your legs in front of you, pull the knees into the chest. Take the hands to the floor next to the sitting bones. Inhale, lift your body up. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. What are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gonzalo thinks something's fun. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's do some core work. Inhale, forward into a plank. Now reach your right fingertips forward in front of you. Take the right, no, not all the way off the floor, straight up. Yes, now if you're stable here, maybe you reach the left leg off the floor as well. Balancing on two legs. See how long you can stay. Challenge yourself, play around with it. Then lower both the arm and the leg to the floor. Switch it over, try the other side. And take the hand and the leg to the floor. Push it back, downward facing dog. Soften the knees and look forward. And as you inhale, float through to a sitting position. Extend the legs forward, coming into Navasana. Point the feet, lift the chest, clear the heart. Breathe deep into the back of the lungs. If you're comfortable in Navasana, try and extend the crown of the head back and bring the chest more, chest higher. Lift the legs a little bit high, point the feet a little bit more. Breathe in, breathe out. Cross the legs, left leg in front of the right. Inhale, just lift up. Exhale, lower back down into Navasana again. The primary series has five of these. It's very rare that I am adventurous enough to do five. We'll do three tonight. Keep lifting the chest, stay with Navasana. Shaking is encouraged. And cross the legs, right leg in front of the left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, find Navasana one more time. Really commit to this practice of lifting the chest, challenging yourself in the face of adversity. When we practice in the face of adversity, we become stronger practitioners. So challenge yourself in these environments to become resilient. Cross the legs, inhale, lift up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the floor and take a child's pose. Allow yourself a moment of just deep surrender here. Let everything go. All phenomena, let everything go. Deeply surrender. And extend the arms forward in front of you. Tuck the toes under. Lift back into a downward facing dog. Float the body forward into a plank position. Drop the knees down to the floor. Inhale, arch the back and look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round. Just unify the movement and breath for a bit. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, come back to neutral. Now come to a comfortable seated position and extend the legs forward. We'll move through. Marichyasana. 
sequence. So the legs are forward. We're going to pull the right knee into the chest. And we're going to move the right foot so that it's outside of the right sitting bone. You're going to take your right arm, thread it through past your right leg, sweep it back and around, and then the left arm goes behind the back and you find the bind. Challenge your chest forward, look up. Exhale, fold in. Breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing in. If you're able to touch the head to the leg, slide the chin along the leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, come up. And exhale, extend the right leg next to the left. Pull the left knee into the chest and take the left foot to the outside edge of the left sitting bone. Thread your left arm through, take it back and around. Find the bind, lift the chest, pull the chest forward. Exhale, fold in. One more deep breath and release the bind, come up. So now we're going to bring the left leg into a lotus position. If lotus position is too much for you, just have the left leg underneath the right. So left leg into lotus for those that are doing it and then pull the right knee into the chest. Same thing we did before, take the right arm back through past the right leg and take it around behind you and find a bind. Bind the hands, lengthen the chest. Exhale, fold forward. This is Marichyasana B. And now your left heel is actually pressing into the spleen and it purifies channels in the waist. So squeeze yourself in with the bind tight. Really tighten it in and press that heel into the spleen. And come up and release. Extend the legs forward, unwind yourself slowly, being gentle with the leg. Now pull the right leg into a lotus. If it doesn't go into lotus, that's fine. Take it underneath the left leg. Pull the left knee into the chest. Just move mindfully here. You want to sweep the left arm past the left leg and around the back. Find the bind, pull the chest forward before you fold. Then exhale, fold in. A correction. The other side we did the liver, this side we're doing the spleen. So the heel's now hitting the spleen on this side before it was hitting the liver. Thank you very much Dr. G. Push the air in one more time and release coming up. Extend both legs forward, just shake the legs out. Pull both knees into the chest. Open the knees out to the side, press the soles of the feet together. Interlace your fingers around your feet, use your thumbs to open the tops of your feet like they were a book. Pull the hips and the chest forward as you inhale, then exhale, fold in, take Baddha Konasana. Knees are being encouraged out to the side here as much as we can, and the outside edges of the feet are being pressed together, and the thumbs keep opening the tops of the feet. And inhale, come all the way up. Open your feet out to the side so that your heels are on the outside edges of your mat. Flex your feet. And as you inhale, thread the right arm underneath the right leg and reach the left arm up to the sky. Take the gaze to the left fingertips. Good. If you're comfortable here, wrap the right arm around the back and take the left arm around. Catch the left wrist and find a bind. Press the left palm down into the floor. Keep the feet flexed. And keep the gaze over the left shoulder. Good. One more breath and release. Inhale, come back to center. Catch the ankles and pull your chest forward. Exhale there. 
Now inhale, thread the left arm underneath the left leg and take the right arm up to the sky. If you're comfortable there, stay there or take the left arm around the back. Take the right arm and catch the right wrist. Press the right fingertips into the floor. Keep your gaze out over your right shoulder. And then release, coming back to centre. Now bring the heels together and lift the heels off the floor. Thread the arms underneath. Take chin mudra with the fingers, clear the chest. Look up. Now bring the arms out from underneath, catch the big toes and extend through the legs. Look up. If you can, take the gaze directly to the ceiling. Good. One more deep breath. And then bending the legs, lower yourself down. Extend your legs forward, lie down on your back. Take the legs overhead. Find a halasana. Bring the hands to support the sacrum. Walk the shoulders back and underneath. And extend one leg to the sky, then the other. Keep challenging the inside line of the legs towards the ceiling. Press the elbows down into the floor and lift yourself a little bit higher. Just like the buffalo, we have to accept reality before we can do anything else. Once we have acceptance of reality, then we can engage truly with the present moment. And once we engage with the present moment, we become very aware that every moment is a beautiful moment. Every encounter is a chance to discover something far deeper about ourselves. And take the legs overhead into Halasana. If your feet find the floor, interlace your fingers, press your forearms down into the mat. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, point the feet here. Bend the knees, take the knees either side of your ears, Pukama Kandasana. And then release the palms flat to the floor and lower yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae, onto your back. Once you're on your back, 
Press your elbows down, lift the chest, take the crown of the head to the floor, Matsyasana, fish pose. It's the counter pose for shoulder stand. Expand between the line between your chin and your navel, try and lengthen it. Lift the chest a little bit higher, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Push the air deep into the back of the lungs. Expand through the side walls of the lungs as you breathe in and out. Then press the elbows down, lift the chest, tuck the chin into the chest, lower onto your back. Find your way into a child's pose position. Interlace the fingers and take the crown of the head to the floor. Setting up for a headstand. No jumping if you're coming into headstand. Just slowly raise yourself up by pressing your elbows down. If you're in headstand, make sure you have your elbows trying to come towards each other. Just want that line engaged. Now lift up through the inner thighs, lift up through the inner arches of the feet and extend yourself a little bit higher. Trying to straighten it up, make sure your ribs are tucked in. Challenge yourself to stay longer than you possibly thought you could. And if you're still up with control, make your way all the way down. <coughs> Deep surrender in this child's pose. Patanjali explains craving and aversion as hindrances to our practice. A way to overcome craving and aversion is by developing a mind of equanimity. Training the mind to become equanimous. We open doors for ourselves. Slowly make your way to a comfortable seated position for a meditation practice. Find a very comfortable and still seat. We'll just do a short breathing exercise to allow the mind to calm it down a little bit more before we enter. We're just going to hold the breath in at the top of the inhale and hold the breath out at the bottom of the exhale, but I'll be guiding you through. At any stage, the retentions are too much for you. Just continue to breathe normally. It's okay. Everybody empty the lungs to prepare. And begin inhaling. Two, three, four. Hold the breath in. Two, three, four. Exhaling. Two, three, four. 
hold. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhaling. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Inhaling. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Release the breathing. Release everything. Let yourself drop into silence. With full attention on the breath, gaze, inner gaze is on the tip of your nose. And very slowly make your way into your back, Vashavasana. Make yourself as comfortable as possible, Vashavasana. Let yourself be as quiet as possible. And deeply surrender.
very slowly, just coming back to the breath, deepen the breathing, remove the fingertips and the toes. Turn the head from side to side, maybe reach the arms overhead, stretch the body. Rolling onto one side of the body. Just allow yourself a moment here of complete surrender. No desires to go anywhere. And then come to a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. We dedicate this practice to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be happy and may all beings be at peace. We give rise to thoughts of loving kindness. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. May we project this practice to the benefit of all, extending it to everybody, everywhere. Namaste, thank you very much.